everybody watched him. If you were a new Canadian or you've been here for generations, it didn't matter. Mr. Dress Up was this bridge from my home life into the world. It was like the connection to Canadian culture. The character of Mr. Dress Up was just so thoughtful and authentic and kind. It's just a nice, calm feeling and you can watch it no matter any time and you know, you're having a bad day, just watch the Mr. Dress Up. There is no strict agenda, but there kind of is in the sense of like, how to be kind. Now this is the original Tickle Truck that I thought up out of my own head and actually made. And then that's where the adventures were started. As soon as you opened that lid, something was going to happen. You didn't know what, but something great was going to happen. That signature moment every episode, maybe it was a cape, and then there was nothing on it, but he cut out shapes. Is it going to be a wizard? Oh, no, he's a dinosaur. The endless possibility of that. When he did a craft, you felt like you could make that. Because he that. did it with actual <laughs> toilet paper tubes and paste and stuff and, you have in your house. Yeah, and tissue paper. I wish I had a tickle trunk. It was just a good feeling. It makes you feel good. He he talks directly to you. You don't talk to children differently. You don't use certain language and you don't certain things you don't talk about because they're children. But you don't have to change the way you actually talk. Even though sometimes he would have authoritative things. He would go, no, 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 you need to eat that chicken noodle soup. You know, and that's as mean as he would get. Look what I caught. <laughs> When I kids would ask me, is Casey a boy or a girl, I usually would say yes. Hello, dear. I got your mail just, Mrs. Jacoby. You want to send down your basket? I mean, really, if you think about it, Casey was the first non-binary character on children's television. Every kind of person, you know, didn't matter what race you were, what color you were, what religion you were, what language you spoke, what part of the country you were from, etc. You watch Mr. Dress Up. Mm -hmm.